For the longest time, this has been one of the most popular calculators in the entire world. Probably the most popular for calculus students. It's the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. And the reason is really quite shocking. It's not because of what the calculator can do, or it's not because it's a good calculator, because it is a very good calculator. I've had this one for over a decade, and it still works. But that's not the reason it's so popular. Now, it might not be the most popular one anymore, and I'll tell you why it's popular in a minute. It's quite shocking. A newer version of it is now available. It's the TI-84 Plus CE. This one's in color, it's a lot fancier, much better option. So why was this calculator, perhaps it still is, you know, one of the most popular, if not the most popular calculator in the entire world? Certainly for calculus classes in the US, this is the one that was recommended uh, over and over again, and it probably still is. And it's not because of what the calculator can do. Instead, it's because of what the calculator can't do. Basically, this calculator does not have what's called a CAS. CAS stands for Computer Algebra System. So if you're taking a calculus class, uh, which is a math class, calculus is a math class, just for those of you watching who don't know math, basically there are things called derivatives and integrals. And if you have calculators with computer algebra systems, it basically does that calculus for you. So basically, this calculator was super popular because it couldn't do certain things. You might say, well, isn't that a good thing? If you are in a calculus class, wouldn't you want a calculator that does calculus? Yes, you would, but from a teacher's perspective, they're not gonna want that, right? My take on it is, and this is just my own personal take, uh, you know, after teaching for many, many years, I always just allowed students to use any calculator, but they had to show their work, right? And you could tell when it's calculator work versus, you know, human work. You know, all the steps had to be there and, and all that stuff. But it's kind of a strange, shocking thing, I think, that a device would be popular for something it cannot do, right? Which is, which is really backwards. Usually things are good because they have features. You know, you get a new phone and the phone has a better camera, so you want that phone. It's got a better screen, but no, no, no. This calculator was super awesome and probably a bestseller for a super long time, and it probably still is, simply because it didn't have those features. Again, it was probably replaced by, by this one here. Just kind of a shocking thing. So let, let's talk a little bit about calculators, and I think that hundreds of hours have probably been spent all across, at least in the US, the country in, in, in math departments discussing whether or not like people should use calculators. So from my perspective, from a student's perspective, um, I think calculators should be allowed, right? As long as you, you show the work. I, I do think there's something to be said for mental calculation. There's this movie, which is called The Man Who Knew Infinity. It's based off the life of the most legendary Indian mathematician in the world, Ramanujan. And there's a scene in the movie where one of the British mathematicians is doing some calculations in his head. And, and I forgot what the calculations were, but I remember watching the movie and getting goosebumps and thinking, that's why some people are against calculators, because that guy was hardcore. He could do some serious math up here. I, I was just blown away. I was thinking, I don't know anybody, I've never known anybody who can do those calculations in their head like this guy did. Obviously it's a movie. Obviously it's sensationalized, but the fact remains that back then they didn't have those calculators. So back then they actually had to do calculations by hand. And I think there's something, something to be said for that. I think it's important to be able to do um, things mentally. And at the same time, you know, there are situations where I think calculators are needed. You know, I, I once heard a story about, um, about a friend who was in a physics class and his teacher would not allow calculators in physics. And they had to do all the computations by hand somehow. I don't know if this is a true story, but this was the rumor going around that in this class with this professor, I don't even remember who the professor was, but in his class, they all had to do physics by hand. And it wasn't a basic physics class. I think it was something a little bit more advanced. I think it was um, electricity and magnetism one or something like that. So 
it wasn't like physics one, two, or three. No, it was a more advanced physics class and no calculators were allowed. So that was, that was pretty tough. So, so my take on calculators, if you're curious, is that I think calculators are great. We should use them. It's a tool. It's technology. But as a teacher, when I've taught uh, and I've used calculators and I've let my students use them, I've always required that they show the work on those types of problems where you could kind of cheat your way through with a calculator. That's my take. Not everyone has that same opinion. And so the great calculator debate continues till this day, I'm sure. I bet that this is probably the most popular one. So if you're going to be taking calculus, right, and you want to know what calculator to get, I would say get this one, the TI-84 Plus CE, because this is one that your teacher will probably allow because it doesn't have that computer algebra system. And it's really, really good, right? It does graphing, um, it's in color, it's super awesome. Now, there are calculators that have those systems. One example is the TI-92. I had a TI-92, but it got wet and it broke, so I threw it away. But that one actually does calculus for you and it's pretty good. Also, the TI-89 uh, does calculus for you and it's pretty good. So yeah, that's my take on calculators. What do you think? Do you think calculators should be allowed in your math classes? Are they allowed in your math classes? What's your opinion on this? Everyone has really strong opinions when it comes to calculators. And, you know, I can see why. I remember once uh, tutoring a student. When I was a student, I was tutoring this girl. And it was really basic math. We're talking like just pre-algebra. And she couldn't do the addition in her head. Like she would literally type in 2 plus 3 on her calculator and she did it so fast. She was like two plus three equals five and she talked really fast and it was the funniest thing ever. I wish I could could have recorded it so I could play it back for you here because it was hilarious. It's like two plus three equals five and she was just super fast and I'm tutoring her, I'm thinking, geez, can't she like stop and think for a moment? So I think, I think it can be bad, right? Try to do things mentally and if you can't, then reach for the calculator. I think that's better. And I think that the calculator can be a great, great learning tool. So those are my thoughts. Anyways, just a random calculator rant video because it's shocking that this calculator was so popular because of something it can't do. And I just, I just think it's such a strange thing. It's such a strange phenomenon because when you look at other electronic devices, usually they're popular because of things they can't do, right? Computers are better because you know, they have better graphics cards, they have faster processors, they have more RAM, they have a bigger hard drive, a better screen, right? Technology is better and people want better things because they're better. Whereas when it comes to calculators, um, you have these, these two, I don't want to call them stunted calculators, but their growth was stunted on purpose uh, because they didn't have those features that let you basically, you know, cheat your way through calculus in some sense, I guess. But yeah, kind of a random video. If you're still watching this and you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button today if you want to. Also, I do have courses, not on calculators, but I should, uh, but I do have math courses, algebra, calculus, differential equations, analysis, abstract algebra, etc. You can use those to learn math. They're pretty good. Some of them are better than others. They're on my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on Udemy, but if you sign up, please use my website, mathsorcerer.com, because I've lowered the prices, so you should get the lowest price, I'm pretty sure, if you use my links. Until next time, good luck, and keep doing math, and if you have a calculator, use it, and let me know. Let me know what you think about calculators. I'm really curious. Again, I'm open to them. I've always allowed people to use them. Um, it's, it's just really hard to, like, <laughs> police it. Just I've always been an open calculator kind of person, but... Always make sure that, you know, people show their work. And I think that kind of compensates and makes up for it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Good luck. Keep doing mathematics.